like 217 average and weep. As I said, I've lost all hope. Homer, here in the bowling alley, you're a totally different man. Relaxed, confident. Is this going somewhere? What we have to do is figure a way to make bowling alley Homer into everyday Homer. I have an aunt who became an uncle. Is it like that? I want you to wear those bowling shoes out the door and everywhere you go. It's crazy, but it just might work. Dr. Frederick J. Waxman, you're a genius! That's not my name. I wasn't talking to you. I'm a man. I spell man. Homer, your shoe attitude is bowling people over. These are letters from companies interested in interviewing you. How many of those have private planes? This one. Hmm. Handyman's choice copper tubing. They need a safety inspector to fly between their North American plants. I'm getting that job. Bart, I'll need some clean urine. Stat. Now, to make sure you're motivated to get this job, you have to quit your old one. I'll call your boss right now. I'll get it, sir. Just send it to voicemail. You here for the safety inspector job? Well, I can see the position of handsomest CEO is already taken. I like you already. If you can write your name so I can read it, you're in. Hmm. Hmm. I got the job! Yay, Dad! We knew you could do it! On your first day, Dad. Give him hell, Homer. We're all so proud of you, sweetie. I'm gonna get there early so I can get in good with the lunch truck guy. Find out if he has a wife. We could double date. Hey, Dad. I help you? I, uh, I have no job and nowhere to go. What do I have to buy so I can sit here all day? Well, with the coffee, you can stay till lunch. Then you have to order a solid. One small coffee, please. And a dozen of those placemats with the maze on it. They're all the same maze. Somebody's got to do them. So, how was your first day at your new job? Oh, it was great. Flew to Tulsa on the company jet, did my job in a way consistent with what I already told you, because that's what you do when you have a job. I'm so proud of you, Dad. Stop peppering me with questions. Principal Skinner, why did we have to leave the Learn and Touch Reptile Zoo so early? Well, it seems someone was riding the giant tortoise naked. It's not my fault. The drinking fountain dared me to do it. Huh? Freak Fry! Look out! If it touches you, you die of suicide! <laughs> I know it's you, Homer. Why aren't you at your new job? Well, explanation-wise, the fact is that I lied. I didn't get the job. You see, when I got there... So she said, that's not my inbox. And he said, that's not the Johnson report. <laughs> you sure know how to repeat the joke I just told you. <laughs> but as a formality, I must ask, do you know anything about copper tubing? Um, 
Well, uh... Come on, say you're hired! No! Say it! Read your resume with Cheryl! Say it! Security! Security! Stop saying security! Come on! No, Just no, give me the job! I like your hat! Say the word! Give me... I couldn't bear to tell your mother, so I hang out here all day. But, Dad, you gotta tell her. She's been buying brand-name groceries. Brands like Miser's Choice and Day-Old Delight? No, things rich people buy, like Campbell's Soup and Pepsodent. <laughs> Hello? Honey, there's something I have to tell you. <gasps> It's bad news, isn't it? I should never get my hopes up. Nothing ever works out for us. No, it's, uh, uh good news. Really? We're manufacturing a new pipe diameter, 5 8 inch. The company wants you and me to take the private plane to New York for the premiere. So meet me at Shelbyville Airport in an hour. If I'm going to tell that woman the truth, I'm going to do it in the one place no one can ever be sad. Okay, so this should be enough money to get me up in the air, have a frank talk with Marge, then maybe eat a deviled egg. Well, anything for a fellow Marine. Yeah, Semper Fudge. Uh, did you just say Semper Fudge? No, I said the right thing. Look at this business center. Fax, Wi-Fi, teleconferencing capabilities. I'm gonna remember this day for the rest of my life. Uh, honey, don't try to remember the whole day. Just what you're feeling this second. Sweetheart, what do you mean? Arch, I gotta be honest. What was that? I don't know. Maybe we flew through a rainbow. <gasps> I didn't think I'd be flying today, so I was doing heroin. Oh. Homie, what are you doing? You don't know how to fly? I drove a car over a cliff once. How different could it be? Hmm. What's the ocean doing in the sky? There's only one man who can help us now. Hello, and welcome to success. It's Marge Simpson. I need you to coach like you've never coached before. Marge, please. I'm with a client. Now you listen here, bub. We paid you all the savings we had in the world. You can at least tell my husband something encouraging. All right, Homer, what is it you're attempting to do? Win over a difficult client? I'm trying to land a plane with no experience. Homer, I gotta tell you, I'm not very good. I went to the Harvard of the South. Duke? That's good. Not Duke. Vanderbilt? A little further south. Don't make me say it. <gasps> Deathman has reported you to the FAA. This near miss will be investigated by a board of three retired pilots. <laughs> Okay, Homer, I don't know anything about planes, but I know about you. You have what made America great. No understanding of the limits of your power and a complete lack of concern for what anyone thinks of you. So you'll land that plane. And do you know why? Because I heard some guy say you couldn't. What? I'll show him. I'll show that guy. Elevation 300 feet, 200 feet, 50 feet. Ah! Jet. And now to taxi to the terminal. Go! March flying in private jets is great and all, but it's just too dangerous. That's why I've decided to go to the plant and beg Mr. Burns for my old job back. I understand, homie. And at least we can take the extra income you've earned in the last few months and set it aside for a rainy day. You'd think so, but no. Mr. Ritchie, your American Music Awards are weighing us down. Let them go. You let yours go. I don't have any. That's right. You